Habari? Karibu tujifunze Kiswahili. Welcome back to my class. If you're new here, karibu sana. Karibu sana. I'm happy to have you here today. So today's lesson is the continuation of our last lesson. Uh, this is part two, okay? Uh, we are going to learn about imperatives. As I said in my previous video, my previous lesson, what is imperative? Imperatives, these are words that we use to give command and to give direction. So I showed some um, examples of words that we use to give commands and direction in my part one video. So if you didn't watch part one video, please pause this video and go back to my previous video, my previous lesson. I explained well about imperatives. And after you finish, please come back and join us um, to learn these examples and some sentences which talk about imperatives, okay? So, yeah, let's get started. Tuanze sasa. Okay, so I have singular part and I have plural part. So, this part explains about um, umoja. In Swahili, we say umoja. That it talks about only one person. Inazungumzia uh, kitendo kinafanyika au kifanyike kwa mtu moja. The action is supposed to be done by one person and this part upande hu uh, is talking about plulo wingi kwamba kitendo kifanyike uh, na watu zaidi ya mmoja so is talking about the action uh, is supposed to be done uh, to more than one person okay Okay, so in my previous video, I said um, imperative, um, we use, in singular, we use the verb as a term. For example, nenda, ka, funga. Okay, so we use the verb as a term. And the verbs are that in plural, the verbs which end with a. Vowel a. In plural will be changed and we put e and we add, we put a. This is a in Swahili. In English is e. So we put vowel a and we add a suffix ni. Okay. So, nenda will be nendeni. So, we remove, I mean, vowel a, which is the end part, and we add vowel a, and we put suffix ni. So, we'll be nendeni. Okay? All right. So, let's see these examples here. Number one, number moja, inasema kwamba tafadhali. Nenda pale. Tafadhali. Nenda pale. What does it sentence mean? Tafadhali nenda pale. So, in Swahili, if you want to say please, we use tafadhali and samahani. Samahani. Okay? So, in Swahili, if you want to say please, we say samahani o tafadhali. Sawa sawa. Are we together? Tupo pamoja. Vizuri sana. So tafadhali nenda pale. Tafadhali nenda pale. Please go over there. Okay? Tafadhali nenda pale. Tafadhali nenda pale. So this part is talking about one person, okay? Singular, all right? So in plural, it will be tafadhali nendeni pale. Nendeni 
pale, okay? Tafadhali, nenda pale. Plural will be tafadhali, nendeni pale. Nendeni pale. Sawa sawa, vizuri. Okay, let's see our second example. Tafadhali, ka chini. Tafadhali, ka chini. So, tafadhali means please, okay? Tafadhali, ka chini. Ka chini. So, ka will be kaeni in plural, okay? Tafadhali, ka chini. Please sit down. Please sit down. Ka chini. So, in plural will be tafadhali, kaeni chini tafadhali kaeni chini okay vizuri sana i hope we are together so if i'm trying to give you this a uh, part of singular and please try um to change this singular uh, sentence into plural by yourself okay then you will know if you understand or not so the third example says Kaka funga mlango. Kaka funga mlango. So kaka is brother in Swahili, okay? Kaka, this is brother, okay? Funga mlango. Funga means close. Do you remember our um verb part, our last lessons? Okay, funga means close, okay? Close, open. So this is funga, okay? Funga mlango. Funga mlango. Close the door. Kaka. Funga mlango. Brother. Cross the door. So how can you change this part into plural? Can you try by yourself? Please try before I give you. Also before watching. Before watching here. Please can you try? Kaka funga mlango. It will be... Kaka fungeni mlango. Fungeni mlango. Okay. Kaka funga mlango. Kaka fungeni. So we remove a and we put a and suffix ni. Fungeni. Okay. Vizuri sana. Kaka fungeni mlango. Njo nyumbani haraka. Njo nyumbani haraka. Njo nyumbani haraka. So njo means come. Nyumbani, home. Haraka, quickly. Okay? Njo nyumbani haraka. Come home quickly. Njo nyumbani haraka. So in plural it will be njooni. Okay, so... The verbs which end with are, ah, these are Bantu verbs, okay? And when we change into plural, in my previous lesson, I said uh, we remove a ah, and we add suffix ni at the end, okay? But for the verbs which doesn't end, don't end with um, a, ah, like njo. Subiri, fikiri, and so many verbs. So these verbs, we don't change this part, the end part. We just add suffix ni. Okay? Subiri will be subirini. Subirini. Fikiri will be fikirini. Njo will be njooni. Okay? Njooni. So, njo nyumbani haraka will be njooni nyumbani haraka. Njooni nyumbani haraka. You all come home quickly. Njooni nyumbani haraka. Sawa sawa. Vizuri sana. Kimbia haraka tafadhari. Kimbia 
haraka tafadhali kimbia run haraka quickly oh hurry up kimbia haraka tafadhali and tafadhali is please oh samahani but um we don't use samahani here we use uh, tafadhali kimbia haraka tafadhali kimbia haraka tafadhali and the plural part will be kimbieni so because it ends with a so it will be kimbieni haraka tafadhali kimbieni haraka tafadhali kimbieni haraka tafadhali rudi nyumbani tafadhali rudi nyumbani tafadhali so rudi means come back okay nyumbani is home nyumbani okay and tafadhali is please as i said so rudi nyumbani tafadhali please come back home so as i said the verb which end with uh doesn't end with a uh, like rudi njo fikiri and so many um it will be we we will not i mean we will not remove the end part which is e but we add ni the suffix ni okay so rudi nyumbani tafadhali it will be rudini nyumbani tafadhali rudini nyumbani tafadhali rudi nyumbani tafadhali please come back home um in plural part it will be rudini rudini you all come back home come back home please come back home okay rudini nyumbani tafadhali rudini nyumbani tafadhali okay another example says endesha gari taratibu endesha gari taratibu so in tanzania um when you drive uh your car um in the wrong ways highways um you see some signs which written in swahili says endesha gari tafadhali endesha gari taratibu sorry it is written endesha gari taratibu which means drive the car slowly okay so in highways in different parts in different areas in tanzania like in highways they put these signs which says endesha gari taratibu so this means drive the car slowly okay yes so endesha gari taratibu um in plural will be endesheni endesheni as usual we remove a and we add e in the suffix ni okay so it will be endesheni magari taratibu endesheni magari taratibu vizuri sana and then other part is tembea kwa uangalifu tembea kwa uangalifu tembea means walk okay kwa uangalifu means um carefully okay tembea kwa uangalifu walk carefully tembea kwa uangalifu so if you want to say to many people it will be tembeeni kwa uangalifu tembeeni kwa uangalifu okay the last part is tafadhali funga mlango tafadhali funga mlango so this means tafadhali is please okay so funga is close mlango is door okay 
Please close the door. Tafadhali funga mlango. Please close the door. In plural part will be tafadhali fungeni. So as usual, remove a and add e a suffix. I mean, yeah, vowel a and suffix ni. Tafadhali fungeni mlango. Tafadhali fungeni mlango. So these are examples which explain about imperative, okay? Command words or direction words, okay? Thank you so much for today. See you next time. Asante sana. Kwaheri!